hey everyone welcome to my channel my name is gina and this channel is all about fashion in today's video we're going to be learning how to take proper body measurements and as you can see i have my mannequin here to demonstrate how this is done you're going to be needing your measuring tape i'm going to be using the side that has the inches measurement okay so without further ado let's get into the video so the first measurement we're going to be taking is the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement is taken from one joint one shoulder joint to the other the you have to feel for the joint that connects the shoulder to the arm so you take it from one joint to the other i'm going to be showing you how it is on a human so if you look at me now you will just feel around and you'll be able to find the points that connect your shoulder to your arm okay so the next step is to take our straight measurements to take our straight measurements and the first measurement that is taken in this straight measurement is the bust points make sure you are placing your tape at the fullest part of the bust do not go too low or too high okay so make sure you place your tape at the fullest parts of the bust which is usually the nipple area so you place your tape at the highest point of your shoulder and place it at the bust point which is the fullest part of the bust so the next measurement is the under bust point to get the under bust point you place your tape at the highest point of your shoulder again to the under bust area so you just pin it at that particular area you take your tape out and read the measurement next measurement is the waist point the waist point is taken from the shoulder around the bust to the waist you can also use a string to identify that place so you don't have a hard time measuring it so from the shoulder to the under bust to the waist point i'm showing you what the front measurement says because we're going to be measuring the back as well this is vital during pattern drafting so again from the shoulder from the highest point of the shoulder to your waist point you get your measurement and then you pin it down as you can see the one for the back is 13 inches while that for the front was 16 because the front of our body have chest and we have bust and the back does not so that is why so the next measurement is the hip point and it's taken from the shoulder around the bust through the waist point to the fullest part of the hip and you can also use a string to identify that place as well you can also tie a string around it just look for the fullest part of the person's hip and then you can just secure it with a string so always make sure it is at the fullest part of the hip so the next measurement is to get the full length the full length basically means how long you want your dress or whatever it is you are making to be so you can decide to place your tape from your shoulder take it around the bust to the waistline through the hip and then get your full length or an easier way is to place your tape at the waist point and measure your full length the next measurement is the chest width now this is cut seen by measuring from one end of the chest to the other end you know when you fold your arm you will get one mark at the corner of your chest so from that point to the other point is your chest width we're going to be doing the same for the back so at the back as well when you fold your arm that mark you get by the side of your arm you take it from one end to the other next measurement is the bust band which is taken from one nipple to the other nipple so that's that and the next measurement is the shoulder seam which is taken at whatever point your client is comfortable with your neckline passing through to the shoulder points i'll demonstrate this on me so look at my neck my dress you see that this neckline i'm comfortable with that neckline to my shoulder points so that's basically it the next measurement is called the side seam and it is taken from just below the armhole to the waist points when taking this measurement make sure not to go too low or too close to the armpit so that the dress does not end up being too loose or too tight so now we moved on to the second aspect of taking measurements which is the circumference so the first circumference we're taking is the bust circumference so you will just 
put your tape around the fullest part of the bust to not go too high or too low and make sure that the back as well is aligned what i mean is that when you're taking these measurements and you are putting the tape around the body make sure the tape at the back is not dropping but it is aligned with the same line in front of the bust okay the next measurement is waist measurement so you just take your tape and go around that string you use to identify the waist you can go as tight or as loose depending on what the clients want but it is always best to go with a fitted measurement so that the clothing would be you know snatched next measurement is the hip measurement so again you go around the fullest part of the hip make sure you are putting the tape at the back right across the same line you should go across the fullest part of your butt and also the fullest part of your hip just take your time make sure that everything is aligned and put together and then you can move on to the next measurement take as much time as you need i had a little bit of difficulty because the mannequin was slippery it was not having any grip to the tape so i just had to make sure that you understand that it has to go through the fullest and widest part of the butt and the hip as well after that the next measurement is to take the thigh measurement or the lap measurement now this is needed when you are making things like trousers or shorts or pants whatever it is so you just go around the widest part of your thigh through the hip and that is what you get the next measurement that we're going to be taking is the bicep measurement remember that crease we get whenever we relax or fold our arm so you take it from the front crease to the back crease and that is the bicep measurement this is needed when you're making clothing like off shoulder dresses or tops yeah so the next measurement we're going to be taking is the bicep circumference this is taking around the fullest part of your arm next is the elbow measurements when taking the elbow measurement make sure you fold your arm to get a more free fit the next measurement to take is the wrist measurements when taking the wrist measurements you will not take it exactly at the wrist point you tell the client to fold their palm and you measure around the folded palm you measure around the folded palm and that is the measurement you're going to be using for the wrist point this is to aid the easy wearing and taking off of clothing that have long sleeve okay so the next measurement is to take the length of your sleeve you can either go for a short sleeve or a long sleeve whichever one best suits your dress so the next measurement to take is the armhole circumference or this is gotten by placing your tape around the client's armhole to make or to create a not so fitted measurement the next thing you will do is to place two fingers under your tape you place two fingers under the tape just below your armpits and then create room for the two fingers by readjusting your tape this is to make sure that your measurement is not too tight or too loose so your client to be able to lift their arm when you make the dress so guys that is all for the basic body measurements i hope you enjoyed this video if you're having a difficult time just go by it again and i promise you you'll understand it if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section below if you have a mannequin good for you can always go over and over again if not you have a friend a sister anybody that can act the role of a mannequin use them and practice okay i will see you in my next video and do all check out the previous videos that i've been posting and also turn on post notification bells and if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel thank you bye